friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany and in today's video, we are going to be, I'm gonna be showing you my favorite Nespresso recipes. Now, you guys, I got an espresso for Christmas. It was the one and only thing that I was begging for and I'm a huge coffee lover. Love coffee, I find it to be one of the most delicious and comforting drinks and I love the smell of it. I love my whole house to smell like it. In fact, my favorite candle is by 1803 Candles and it's called Perfect Morning. It just smells like a delicious cup of coffee. And I'm here today to show you my favorite recipes that I have discovered since getting my Nespresso for Christmas. So I have an Nespresso Virtuo next. I think that's how you say it. And basically what it is, is an espresso machine that uses pods. And they do have regular coffee, which I'm gonna show you today, things that you can drink, you know, just every day they do make, which is the, the point of the Virtuo was to make bigger coffees from what I understand. And so I'm gonna show you my favorite recipes, both espresso, iced, hot, and regular coffees that I love. I'm also going to show you um, a drink that does not include the Nespresso, but it is one, it's a dupe for the medicine ball from Starbucks. The medicine ball is their honey citrus tea, I believe, um, and it's so good, especially when you are congested or when you're just not feeling well. I was home with the flu a few weeks ago, you guys heard me talk about that, and I couldn't go out to get myself a medicine ball tea, and and I didn't want to put anybody else out. So I just taught myself how to make it and looked up a few recipes on Pinterest, kind of put them all together based on what I could find at my local store and had things Instacarted to me and I put it together myself. So I'm gonna show you how to make that recipe as well. It's delicious whether you're sick or not. It's so good. Without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So for the first coffee that we're gonna make, it's actually one that I made in my a uh, coffee bar, like clean and organized video. It was the first time I tried out my Nespresso machine and it has been my favorite ever since. And that is using the Intenso pod. This is what it looks like. I don't know exactly how you say it, but I'm assuming it's probably more like Intenso. Looks like this. This pod is made to roast a larger cup of coffee. So if you notice here underneath the pod, it's got this um, barcode. That is what your machine reads to determine how much uh, water to produce for the coffee. So you don't have to like select your size. It's a one size fits all. So that's all it's going to brew. If you want more than that, you're gonna to need to brew another pod because it's already predetermined on the back of your capsule. That's what they're called. They're not called pods, they're called capsules. And <clears throat> this is what the Intenso looks like. I buy mine on Amazon and they come in a pack of 30. So this is 10 and you get three of these. And they're pretty pricey. I think I paid like $37 for the three of those. So a little more than a dollar per capsule. But if you were to go to Starbucks and get a coffee, it would be somewhere around the five to $8 range. So definitely think it's worth it. Um, and the key here for this recipe is not just this incredible pod, although I have just done this capsule and it's been amazing with just my regular creamer, but to make it extra delicious and a little bit more fancy, we're gonna use the Arachino. This is their like frothing machine. Um, the one that Danny got for me came with the Arachino. However, you could buy this separately. Um, if you have a coffee machine that you love, but you just want a milk frother, this is a great one. You could also do it by hand with just a little hand whisk. Um, but we're gonna use the Arachino today. The Arachino does give you hot or cold um, foam. This sounds like an espresso ad. Nespresso, if you're watching, I would be down to collab, but this is not a collaboration. But I do think that just putting your regular creamer in the arachino just kind of gives it this like little extra edge and makes it a little extra creamy the thing about your nespresso is that it's brewing this is spinning your capsule is spinning really really fast and it's creating this cream on the top this like coffee foam they call it the crema and you fold that into your coffee and it is delightful like just makes it so creamy um okay so the intenso pod is a nine out of i think 12 is the max that you can go i think um and this brews 
a little less than eight fluid ounces of coffee. Uh, it says you'll love to linger over the brown sugar and intense roasted notes of this blend of Arabica thick with a rare Nicaraguan Robusta. Yum. Brown sugar and roasted notes are the signature aromatics of this Virtuo coffee capsule. It's an intense long black with a distinctly lingering aftertaste and a thick coffee crema. My mouth is literally watering as I was reading that. So it definitely does have a thick crema on there. Um, the other one that I really want to try is <clears throat> the Bianco Forte. That's also a dark roast. I love a dark roast. If I'm using just my Keurig, I'm gonna use a, um, a Pete's dark roast pod. I use their uh, Major Dickinson one. It's delicious. But this is what we're gonna make, first one. I'm gonna make this in a glass mug because why not? And when I got the Nespresso, I also got some black, I'm sorry, some, um, clear mugs because you it's fun to see the crema on top and like stir it in and you know when you're making an espresso that's kind of the fun part is that it does separate and it looks really really pretty and you have the layers so enough talking let's get into this one The first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and pop our capsule into our machine, pull down the top and lock it in place. We're gonna go ahead and put our coffee cup where it belongs and press the brew button once it's done blinking. Once our coffee is done brewing, we're gonna go ahead and fold in that delicious crema from the top. This is where all of that good frothy taste is going to come from. And it's not going to completely go down, but just stir it in gently. Then we're gonna go ahead and froth up our creamer. I'm using hazelnut creamer by Coffee Mate, but you can use whatever creamer works for you can also use heavy cream or half and half or milk. Go ahead and hold it down for a couple of seconds until it turns blue and let that froth up right before your eyes. So there's that Intenso with the frothed uh, creamer. So delicious, absolutely delightful. I would almost say it's similar to like an Americano. Uh, I, I think that would be, I mean, it's just not made with espresso, but pretty dang close. That's some dark, dark uh, coffee that is very similar to um, an espresso. So very delicious and it is so easy to make, easy to make on a work morning when you're feeling like you just need a little extra something special. There you go, perfect coffee to go on a wonderful mor Monday morning. Okay, the next drink we're gonna make is another dupe. Well, that last one wasn't a dupe, but the next one we're gonna make is a dupe for the Dutch Brothers uh, White Annihilator. Now, I don't have Dutch Brothers here where I live, but in Las Vegas, I had Dutch Brothers, and my friend Christine, who lives in Idaho now, but she used to live in 
Washington. She introduced me to Dutch Brothers and the White Annihilator, and it is to die for. It is a white chocolate macadamia coffee. So good. And the key here is to make it with espresso, really strong, delicious espresso, as well as what they call, Dutch Brothers calls their uh, kick mix or something like that, magic mix. Their kick me mix is what it's called. And that just basically is their version of a half and half. They mix it themselves, heavy whipping cream and milk to make a half and half. And that's what makes their drinks so incredibly creamy. So for this recipe, you're going to need a chocolate macadamia nut, um, Syrup. This is from Tarani. I got this on Amazon. It is so good, you guys. Mine doesn't have the pump, but you can get pumps to put on them. So you can count how many pumps you're putting in. For this one, you can just measure it with a tablespoon. I'm just gonna eyeball it. But this stuff is your key ingredient here in the White Annihilator. We're just gonna call this a iced chocolate macadamia nut coffee. And the coffee uh, capsule that we're using is this Starbucks espresso capsule. So this is the one we're gonna be using. I buy these in my grocery order at Walmart, but you can get them at Target, you can buy them on Amazon. Um, it is a one shot, so I do have to brew two of these. Um, I have not found a double for the Signature Espresso yet, so if you know where I can find those, let me know if you've got a link even better. Um, but for this one, we're gonna brew two of the one shot um, espresso pods. Remember that they've got the barcode on the back here, so it's going to determine how much water it needs it's gonna know it's a one shot um, <clears throat> and you'll need two of these if you're going to make this recipe sometimes if I'm feeling froggy I'll make three I'm also gonna be using this cute little like espresso cup thing here measuring cup this will hold a double shot in it so both of my capsules can brew in that one um, and then we're gonna pour that into something else and mix it all up so let's go ahead and make it I'll explain as we go this one is so good probably my favorite for this recipe you're going to need to brew each Starbucks capsule on its own so go ahead and pop one in Make sure to move up your base and place your small espresso cup there underneath the spout and press the brew button once it has stopped blinking. Once the first one is done, go ahead and pop the second capsule in. Remember you can brew both in the same small espresso cup because it holds a double shot at a time. Once your espresso is done brewing, you're gonna have that beautiful foam crema across the top and it's gonna be ready to go to add into the rest of our delicious flavorings. Pour that over a little bit of ice and add a pinch of salt. I'm using kosher table salt today. And we're also going to add in just enough of our chocolate macadamia nut to flavor up our coffee. I'm using about a tablespoon or so, but you can add more or less depending on what works for you. Put the lid on your airtight jar and give it a good shake before adding it over the rest of our ice. These beautiful glasses are from Amazon. I love them for my iced coffee because they are both aesthetically pleasing and easy to clean. Go ahead and top off your espresso with a little bit of half and half. Put your lid on and this drink is ready to go. sticking right along with the dupes for your uh, Starbucks well for major chains not just for Starbucks but we're gonna make a caramel macchiato now this is definitely one of my favorite drinks from Starbucks and they are so easy to make so basically a macchiato just means that you're putting the coffee over your 
uh, milk. And so that's what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna make an iced macchiato. Um, and there are Nespresso machines that will make both together, which is great. It will put your hot milk and then your um, coffee, your espresso on top. But for this one, we're just gonna do it cold and it's gonna be delicious. We're also gonna be using um, those Starbucks capsules, which I thought I lost by <laughs> this one here, the Starbucks capsule. For this one, we're gonna be doing two of these as well, which is like the equivalent of basically like um, tall slash grande, like kind of in the middle. I put it over a lot of ice so it looks more like it's a venti, but it's not. A venti will have four shots, so you can definitely do more if you want, but uh, we're gonna be doing two for the sake of today. A lot of times when I make my iced espresso drinks, like the, uh, White Annihilator or the Chocolate Macadamia Nut Iced Coffee or this one, the Caramel Macchiato. I'll do three pods, but for the sake of today, we're gonna do two. So let's get into our version of a Caramel Macchiato. For our Caramel Macchiato, we're gonna go ahead and start by brewing another Starbucks espresso pod. Again, you're gonna brew two pods in your one espresso cup. To start off our coffee, we're gonna go ahead and use Tarani caramel sauce to put around our cup here. So you can put a little bit on the bottom as well as a little bit around the sides. Then fill your glass with ice. I like a lot of ice in my iced coffee, but that's up to you. Next up, add your milk of choice. For this one, we're using uh, I think this was whole milk, but you could use half and half, heavy cream, oat milk, whatever works for you. Go ahead and top it off with your delicious espresso. And the one thing we forgot was the vanilla syrup to your taste with a little extra caramel. The last recipe we're gonna make today is the medicine ball tea. Now, like I said at Starbucks, I think it's known as the honey citrus tea or mint citrus, let me look it up. Okay, it's known as the honey citrus mint tea and it's made from both steeped water, like um, you know, boiling water as well as steeped hot lemonade. So good, so you're gonna mix lemonade and water. And then the recipe that Starbucks uses calls for the jade citrus tea, I think, and then a mint tea. I'll have them linked for you down below for what the exact teas are, but I'll show you what we're gonna use today, something you can find in your grocery store, make it super simple, and you can just do this without garnish, but we're gonna add a little garnish to make it look extra pretty today. So very good, I'm excited to be ending with this one because I really wanna drink it on this wintry, snowy day. So let's get into our medicine ball dupe for a sweet and delicious medicine ball tea. For this recipe, you're gonna start with one cup of water and one cup of your favorite lemonade in a pot on your stove. Go ahead and bring that to a soft boil. We're gonna be using green tea as well as some mint tea and your favorite citrus tea. I'm gonna be using orange and spice. Add a little bit of honey to the bottom of your favorite mug. These again are from Amazon and they're absolutely beautiful. I put about a half a tablespoon or so of raw honey to the bottom of my mug. Then add in one tea bag of each of your teas. 
While we're letting our lemonade and water come to a soft boil, go ahead and cut up a little bit of orange and a little bit of fresh lemon for your garnish. This part's completely unnecessary, but looks really beautiful in your glass. By now, your water and lemonade should be ready to go. Add a little bit of this into an easy pour cup or measuring cup and pour this over your tea bags. It will already start to smell absolutely divine with the lemonade and as it touches those tea bags and those scents start to come out. Use a spoon to stir in your honey and let that melt into that hot water and lemonade. And you can go ahead and bounce your tea bags just to make sure that they are releasing all of that delicious flavor. Garnish your tea with your orange slices and lemon slices. And this tea is ready to be devoured. My mouth is watering. This is hands down the best tea you will ever have in your whole life. It's amazing. The spices in the orange and spice tea are just so delicious and like, I don't know, it just warms you from the inside out. Like I said, perfect for a rainy day like today. Now you could leave your tea, uh, tea bags in your tea as you drink it. When I get my medicine ball, I leave them in there. So I'm gonna leave mine in this as I finish it. I know some people think that's a big no-no to leave your tea bags in, that's up to you. Oh my goodness, so very good. These glasses are from Amazon. I'll have them linked for you down below. I love them. Perfect for a little cup of tea. And that is gonna bring us to the end of this video, my friends. I hope you guys found some inspiration in today's video. If you decide to try any of these recipes, I would love to hear what you think about them down below, especially this tea, it is so good. And next time you know somebody or you yourself are not feeling well, make yourself a medicine ball or bring it to somebody. They're gonna think you're just absolutely an angel because it just is so good and so uh, soothing. So until the next time, my friends, I hope you found this video to be fun and I hope you find some recipes that you're willing to try. If you're not subscribed, I would love to have you subscribe and come back for more and I will see you in the next one. Cheers.